Well, in the United States, nearly 7,000 guide dogs help their visually impaired owners navigate on a day-to-day -day basis. ABC 23's mountain reporter Julie Flannery joins us live from our Tehachapi Bureau this evening with the story of a Tehachapi puppy in training to hopefully become an official guide dog of America. Julie. My guide dogs aren't born with an innate ability to beat someone's eyes. It takes years of training and a very special type of dog. And four-month-old Simon and his trainer, Susie Atherton, hope Simon has what it takes. Since Simon was eight weeks old, he has gone everywhere Susie has gone. If I go to the bank, if I go and get a cup of coffee, if I go to the grocery store, go shopping, he goes with me. And all of those errands are part of his training. Every time I take him out, there's a new challenge, a bird or a leaf or a flag or something that distracts him, but we work through it. Simon has to be taught to stay focused and resist some natural impulses, which is a challenge and a big reason why only one out of three guide dogs graduate from the program. Some dogs can't get through it. You know, some dogs can't break that natural instinct, but the ones that do, they become really great helpers for someone. And while a guide dog is trained to obey its owner's commands, there are some cases when it should be disobedient. The dog has to be smart enough to learn something called intelligent disobedience, that if it's not safe to cross the street and they're given the command to do so, that they would not follow the command. Simon won't be ready for graduation until he's two years old, but he is already succeeding. He won first place in obedience at the Guide Dogs of America open house earlier this month. He has to pass by things that normally might intimidate a, a dog to do. And um, there's crowds cheering and there's banners waving and he did really well, so he won. Simon and his yellow jacket have become very recognizable throughout Tehachapi and has even developed into a following of over 500 fans on Facebook. But Simon isn't the first guide dog Susie has trained. And while it's a lot of work, there's a reason Susie chooses to do it. The day now, Guide Dogs of America is out of Silmar and is funded completely by private donations, and they even provide the guide dog to the visually impaired owner free of charge. For more information on Guide Dogs of America or to become a fan of Simon on Facebook, you can head to our website, turnit23.com. In touch, PM Julie Flannery, ABC 23. Uh, everybody has a Facebook page now. The puppy. <laughs> when we come back, there are new...